In today's video, I am going to be breaking down how I went from being addicted to junk food to genuinely repulsed by it to the point that I have zero desire to ever eat it again. You see, nearly everyone is addicted to junk food. Take a look across society. Everyone is fat, and that right there is the number one symptom of a junk food addiction. But here's the thing. Everyone is lied to about how to control it. You'll see all these nutritionists and dietitians online talking about how moderation is key. But here's the thing. Moderation is genuinely impossible for many people when it comes to these foods. The reason being is that they are designed by teams of scientists to be as addictive as possible. What they do is they target something known as the bliss point, which essentially is the perfect ratio of salt, fat, and sugar. And when they hit this bliss point, it gives your brain so much dopamine. And because the human psyche is wired in a way where we're constantly either seeking pleasure or avoiding pain, all you can do all day is think about how much pleasure you got from this food. Seriously, how many people live their lives where it's ruled by food? All they can do is think about their next meal. I was like this for an extended period of time. But here's the thing, entirely eliminating it is incredibly hard for many people because they feel like they're missing out by not eating this stuff. I had this exact belief for a long time. I absolutely love this food. And I thought to myself, if I cut it out, I'm just simply not gonna enjoy life. However, after not eating this stuff for well over a year now, I don't miss it at all. My life is better in every single aspect. And there are a few tricks that I did to get myself to this point. Let's have a look at them. The first thing is that I no longer think of it as food, which I'll get to shortly. But first, let me explain this very important concept. Now, unless you are being held hostage, every single thing you do, you do because you want to do it. You go to the gym, even if you think you don't want to, because you want to feel accomplished with yourself more than you want to sit on the couch and do nothing all day. You go to your job, even if you dislike it, because you want to be able to afford to eat more than you want to sit around and do nothing all day. So in order to not eat the ultra processed garbage, you have to change your want. Currently, you think you don't want this stuff, but you really do because you enjoy the taste of it more than you think it's bad for you. So let me break down some very interesting facts for you, which is going to make you want this stuff considerably less. And then at the end, I'll give you the perfect diet which will completely eliminate your desire for the stuff entirely after only 30 days. I want you to look at the ingredients of the foods on screen right now. It is genuine insanity. This stuff is not food. It's an addictive drug sold to you as food. Literally, these foods are designed so you're hungrier after you eat them than before you eat them. And they provide you with zero nutrients. They're literally destroying your life in every single way, which I'm about to get to. But just take a look at these ingredients. It genuinely is a disgrace. And here's the thing. Every single processed food item is the exact same. I didn't even cherry pick this. I literally just searched up ingredients of two major food companies and this is what came up. Every single processed food you're eating, you're eating a number of chemicals and it's causing serious harm to you. Let's have a look at that. Processed food was introduced in 1905. One year later, the first case of Alzheimer's appears. Seven years later, the first heart attack occurs. Now, were there some heart attacks before this time that weren't recorded? Possibly, but it definitely wasn't a widespread thing like it is now because there would be at least one example of it somewhere in the medical literature before this date. And one in 17 people before processed food was a thing had cancer. Now nearly one in two people get it. Everyone was in fantastic shape. Seriously, look at this guy from 1890. He was the world's fattest man, considered a freak. People would go and pay money to see him. Now you can just go to your local supermarket and you'll see five dudes that look like this. And most surprising of all is that the vast majority of mental health issues are actually caused by diet. I have an entire video I made on this topic, which I'll link to at the end, which breaks down exactly how this works. Because to most people, this just seems crazy and unbelievable. So essentially, the point I'm trying to make is that the poison you're eating is ruining your life in every single aspect. Many people think that they're foodies and they just love food. Food is what provides them with their happiness. When in reality, Food is the cause of all your suffering. In nearly every single ultra-processed food, there is something known as seed oils. Now, every single plant has defense chemicals, which essentially act as the plant's way of defending itself against attackers. So, to, at least to some degree, every single plant is toxic to humans. However, these defense compounds are more abundant in the seed, because essentially it's the plant's offspring. So, not only do you have the most toxic part of the plant, but then you put it through this massive complex procedure in order to extract it you know they've got bleachers going on it they're crushing it they're adding solvents 
and then you eat the stuff, and then you get fat, and then you get sick, and then you get depressed. Your entire life is being destroyed by the stuff. And so once you start to look at the stuff slightly differently, you lose a lot of desire to eat it. Like I said, I used to be addicted to the stuff. Now I walk past it in the supermarket, and I'm repulsed. I can't believe they're giving this to the people. Now, it's all good and well me saying this stuff's bad for you, but what is the solution? Earlier, I talked about how much dopamine you got when you ate this stuff. Well, here's the thing about dopamine. After two weeks of not consuming something, your brain completely forgets how much dopamine it got from it, and the addiction is broken. So all you have to do is get through two weeks of cravings, and you'll never want this stuff again. But there's a big problem with just simply not eating it, and that is that many foods nowadays, such as fruits, have essentially been genetically modified for the last 10,000 years or so through a process known as crossbreeding, and now fruit is essentially genetically modified candy. So by having this ultra sweet fruit, you get this dopamine reward pathway again from something sweet and it makes you crave it. So the only solution to a food addiction is the carnivore diet. And here's what will happen to you on the carnivore diet. Within 30 days, you'll have way more energy, way more mental clarity, you'll lose a lot of weight, and best of all, you will lose your food addiction. Seriously, go online and look at the comments on any YouTube video regarding the carnivore diet. You will not find a single video that's comments aren't filled with people talking about how this diet has changed their life in every aspect. The carnivore diet is the proper human diet. It always makes me laugh. People like to say, red meat's bad for you, rari rari ra. Look at these statistics I just showed you. All these diseases did not even exist until we started eating this ultra-processed chemical garbage. Are you really going to tell me that the one food we've always eaten is the cause of all these modern diseases? It's genuinely laughable at this point, and more and more people are seeing the truth. Now, after 30 days of the carnivore diet, you're feeling incredible, your food addiction's gone. If at that point, you want to eat some junk food again, you can do it. I suspect you won't. Most people, after 30 days of feeling incredible, they don't want that garbage ever again, especially once their reward pathways have completely changed. That's another thing too, actually. Once you start feeling better, and you're losing weight, and people are coming up to you and saying, yo, what are you doing? Your reward pathways change. You get your dopamine from these compliments. You get this dopamine from feeling amazing. And because your brain can't remember the dopamine it got from the processed food, you completely lose the desire to eat it. So to tell you the truth, you won't want it at all. But let's say you kind of have a desire to have it. Here's what will happen. You'll eat it. You'll feel terrible. You'll have brain fog. You'll essentially feel terrible, like you've felt your entire life. But here's the thing. You didn't know you were feeling bad until you went on the carnivore diet and started feeling good. You almost get addicted to only eating meat. You won't want to eat anything else, and the food addiction is completely gone. Anyways, that's how I essentially brainwashed myself to never eat junk food again. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like it, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.